Hi, my name is Karina. I will explain about process scheduling. First, what is process scheduling? In a basic explanation, the process scheduling is the activity of the process manager that handles the removal of the running process from the CPU and the selection of another process on the basis of the particular strategy. Next is operation involved in process scheduling. We have three uh, process scheduling. The first one is shortest job first or SGF is the process having the smallest execution time is chosen for the next execution. Second one is shortest remaining time first or SRTF is the process with the smallest amount of time remaining until completion is selected to execute. The last one is priority is the scheduling process based on priority. So, uh, we have a real-life example, which is workout application. So, in this workout application, users can choose and arrange the workout activities based on the three process scheduling. This is the list of workout activities. We have seven of workout activities. The first one is child pose. Second is crunches. Third is upper body scratch, four is knee bends, five is push up, six is knee lift, and the last one is seven planks. Hello, my name is Umar. I'll be walking you through uh, process scheduling. So first we start with shortest job first. Since in workout we need to start with a short warm up, the shortest job first is applied here. The workout chosen by the user are workout two, workout three, workout four, workout five which is crunches, upper body stretch, knee bends, and push-ups. So the person will start by doing knee bends since this is the shortest workout with time of 10 seconds. After it, it will be followed by doing upper body stretch since this is the next shortest uh, workout with time of 15 seconds. After that, it will be crunches, since this is the next shortest workout with time of 30 seconds. Finally, the person will do the push-up, since it is the longest workout with a time of 120 seconds. Next is shorter remaining time next. The person doing workout in this scenario will choose some workouts, and then will stop in the middle and add another workout. If the user is doing an activity that takes longer than the next activity, then the shorter activity will be done first and continue the activity being done. The person will first choose workout 7 which is planks only and then will start doing it. The user will start doing blanks with time of 60 seconds but after 20 seconds the user stops and decides that he wants to add knee lifts and crunches. And at this time, the remaining time of blanks is 40 seconds and the added two new workouts are crunches with 30 seconds and knee lifts with 10 seconds. The person then will start doing knee lift for 10 seconds since it is the, uh, the workout with the shortest time remaining and it is also to warm up. Right now we have crunches left with 30 seconds and blanks with 40 seconds. Then it will be followed by doing crunches for 30 seconds, since this is the next workout with the shortest remaining time. With the only remaining workout is blanks with 40 seconds. Finally, the user will do the, the blanks with the remaining time of 40 seconds. And that will be it for shortest remaining time next. Finally, we have priority scheduling. The application will list activities depending on the priority categories, which priority 1 will be sorted first and then followed by other priorities, which is 2 and 3. The workouts chosen by the user will be workout 2, workout 3, workout 4, and workout 5. The person will first start by doing knee bends, since this is the lowest priority with priority of 1. After it, it will be crunches, since this is the next lowest priority with priority of 2, and will be chosen over bush-ups because of the arrival order. 
Then it will be followed by push-ups, which is also priority too. Finally, the person will do the upper body stretch since it is the highest priority with workout priority of 3. Conclusion In this workout application, the SJF has the shortest average waiting time when compared to other scheduling methods. So the user does not have to wait for a longer period of time to proceed with other workout activities. However, it is preferable to use the priority schedule algorithm because, in real life, proper warming up and cooling down before and after activities is required. Advantages For the SJF, suitable use for long-term scheduling and also has the minimum average waiting time for a given set of properties. Meanwhile, for the SRTF, processing of job faster than SJF algorithm. For the priority, high priority process does not need to wait for long. Disadvantages of the SJF may cause transmission. Meanwhile, for the SRTF, the contact risk is done a lot more times compared with SJF. For lastly, priority, indefinite blocking and may cause transmission. So that's all from us. Thank you so much for watching.